All right, back again with our next Nazca game that we have here. Here we have found a magic site, a marble temple that's giving us one astral. If I do believe we see two battles here from Vanheim, uh, one taking out this bear tribe province here. Two losses, very unfortunate. There's a lot of bear tribe he was fighting though. And we see a battle here against Relay. Of course, we do take back that province, only losing one Ein here. That is that other island province. But now we see Relay owning all of this underwater. And he is, like, not putting up any of a fight towards them, I guess. I don't know. So we will expect to see them take this back here, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, what's the rest? So we have a vent spreading disease. That's unfortunate. Uh, gained some fire gems, so that's pretty good. Uh, nobody sent anyone into the arena battle, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know, I think I forgot about it or else I would have sent like at least some sort of commander in there. Uh, so Independence attacked Vanheim uh, on that same province that he just took. So he lost six more Ein here, so that was on that island province. Two units were cured from disease, very nice, as the work of our Earth Mothers. So here we are patrolling, patrolling, we're moving our Earth Mother out to start site searching for nature and Earth. Uh, here we're moving to the fort since uh, 40 has pretty much been diminished of all its population, so it's not really going to help us out a whole lot anymore by capturing slaves. We're going to get that last 700 out, but uh, it's pretty low. Uh, regrouping a lot of our units that have routed at this point back onto 35. Uh, we're also going to go and pick up the units on 30 or 42. Uh, we have our Inca coming back to start site searching because we have claimed this zone and site searched it for uh, Vanheim. That's where we found this marble temple. Oh, I thought it was a Astral 1 site. Instead of it gives you 50 gold a high priest and decreases on rest by 5. That's pretty nice too. Um, making 29 just that much better. Uh, here we're building a palisade on 57. We're moving out from the looks of it, a lot of site searchers. Yep, moving them all over the place. We said forget about that research. Don't worry about research right now. We're going to site search because we want as many gems as we can as soon as we can. It's only turn 16, but still we do need a lot. We're going to finish up this palisade here on 76 as long as nothing happens. Uh, it looks like we're sending someone over to build a lab and a temple there. We're moving uh, our units from 68 down to 43 to protect that one since it has, still has three months left. Uh, probably should send something over here to protect this, but oh well. Uh, sneaking some scouts away. We have made a few more. Building a lab on 58 for the Jade, uh, hold on. Jade Sorceresses. Yep. Get that nice water nature path there. Uh, also, one last turn on 23, and we'll have a palisade up there. Uh, this uh, priest will sit here another turn making a temple and making a lab. Uh, so yeah, things are looking pretty good for us. I think that explained most of the movements going around. Moving uh, units from 72 back to the cap, more than likely to pick up more units. We do see here that Nabal did take 66. That's I think that was why we're moving units over to 43. And then we had other units that were going to move over here, but instead changed our minds because of that. Because they took that already, more than likely we'll see Nabal move on to Iriu. Because uh, he's expanded pretty far from his cap. Um, so yeah, that's interesting to see. Uriel Inye is still not really making any headway onto Marignan, which was also very worrisome. Uh, that neither one of them is really pushing at this point. Uh, I'm sure they're very worried about Relay here at 83, having almost 200 troops there beside Issa's cap. Not sure why he thought that he wasn't going to have to fight Relay here. Like, those, if you're an underwater nation, there's only one under, other underwater nation in the game. And you both share the same pond. You're going to have to fight for it. Especially if you're on separate teams. Now, if they're on the same team, yeah, they'd be... At least they'd be, both be underwater together. They'd have to share the resources. They'd have to kind of push area into one... La or land into one area, I guess. 
or consolidate to try to push on the land, which probably would be easier for him, but now that Relay is more than likely going to have all the water, that's just going to have lots of access to everywhere. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, maybe some more scouts around. We'll also, still site searching, building lab, already spoke about that. Not a whole lot else um, right now, no battles since we have taken all the provinces that we are allowed to take. Uh, 53 is going to sit there for a while. 88 is also going to sit there for a while. So that was turn 16. What are we recruiting here? Let's see. Making another Inca, of course, we're going to get out another Air 2, Fire 2, Holy 3 to start site searching. Those are uh, paths that we're not going to be able to find on our priests and whatnot. So uh, always good to go ahead and get a couple of those out site searching and get everything covered. We do have a lot of area we still need to site search. Uh, still making more priests just because of how much money we still have. It should be Earth Mothers, yeah. We're still making Earth Mothers here. I uh, probably should make a temple over here soon. And once we do, we'll probably switch from Earth Mothers onto uh, the Asala here instead. Because, you know, that's going to be our research monkey. Okay, so that was turn 16. Let's move on to turn 17. Alrighty, uh, no sights, no sights, some units died from marching, completed two palisades we talked about, one unit was cured from disease, very nice, uh, took out 29 bandits there at 40, down to 600 pop, uh, still moving them out turn by turn, just getting as much as we can out of a single province is going to be, as, that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the game, we're going to be moving from province to province and just taken out we're going to try to pick the low ones so it doesn't really affect our income too much but uh, we will just pe keep destroying province after province like this uh, so we're going to lab here at 23 don't have enough gold to make it upgrade it right now site searching researching uh, we are upgrading this fort while also building the lab uh, Site searching, site searching. So we should be uh, really boosting up our death income here really soon. I know it's our, one of our lowest incomes, but uh, and we haven't searched a whole lot for it yet. Uh, site searching with the Inca. Well, we see that that Nabal army has moved away. Not a whole else left to talk about here. Uh, basically the same kind of thing, moving our scouts. We just kind of are looking and seeing what's going on. See some white centaurs there. We see Shimiana still in Zabalma's cap circle. So I just wonder how that's going. We should be seeing where Ulm and Pangea are fighting over here. I uh, definitely do want to see that. We see that Ashdod, which is Relay's partner, is located at 177. We know Nabaz here. We know that uh, Agartha's here. As far as who is left, the End and Bandar teams are over here, if I'm not mistaken. Tian Chi is over here. Marignan, Iriu, Yis. That uh, should be everybody. Ohm's right here. So that should give you kind of a mental, mental map there of what's going on. Just moving a bunch of scouts out. Definitely working on our scouting. Um, first off, a lot of them were moved down south just because we thought that was who we were going to be our initial army, our initial fights, but we, have, well, we haven't we have quite decided yet on who that is. We also considered Marignan, uh, just because of how weak he has been. TNG would have been the main threat in that war, because otherwise Marignan has lost a lot, did not expand well on top of that, uh, so yeah. Uh, and we also thought about Iriu, because it looks like Yis is going to be taken out relatively soon. So those are our, our, those are our ideas. Uh, we're kind of waiting on a war, just because we think if we go to war with Pan, we think that Namba is going to jump on us. Uh, so we're just going to wait it out. Uh, we also have those problems going on with Relay at the moment, so we don't want to be stuck into a... 
we don't want to start a war with somebody else, so we'll be fighting two people. Now turn into three people, so we're able to be fighting us, and then someone jumped on top of us on top of that. I mean, we might be able to beat the 2v3, but a 2v5 is a little different. That's a little much. So we're just going to uh, kind of bide our time and wait a little bit. So, that was turn 17. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's talk about turn 18. Okay, so we see that we found three sites, four, five, six, seven, eight sites this turn. That is great. That is really awesome. Let's start checking these out. A scrying pool, so this gives us an astral mage to scry for a range of four. That's not bad. But a water astral, a water death, <laughs> air death. So that is six gems this turn already. Let's check out the next one. Oh, so another windswept catacomb. So this is eight gems in total this turn. Nine gems. Ten. Twelve gems. So we've increased our uh, gem income by twelve this turn. That is crazy. Let's check out our uh, gem income here. That is That was our one turn right there. That's insane. Very, very glad that we got that going on. That was worth not researching for a turn. So we're going to move out these priests in different directions uh, to start getting everything else researched. Or not, not, not researched, but site searched. So yeah, that was pretty, pretty sweet there. Um, having a air income of 8 right now being our highest one, of course, we're going to move into our condors very shortly before our first war. And that's going to be very key right there. That's going to be very, very nice to have. And that's going to allow us to make a lot of condors. So we're upgrading this fort here in 23. Finally have enough money to. Building a temple in 76. So that will be a fully forted temple and lab province next turn. Two more turns on 57. One more turn on 43. We should have probably stayed there and built a lab and a temple. We'll move somebody else over the they're both going to move the site search in these two provinces. Now this one probably needs to have a dark knowledge on it just to see if there's a well of pestilence there. But it may not be. It might be a leper fins or something along those lines. Uh, still site search. So there's just a... Oh, where's that cat? So the Inca was the one that found these three hair gems in turn. That's pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, that's all that's going on. I'll move back over to making priests since this Inca is now moving out to site search. And that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.